Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Call of Cthulhu. I am Dark Python, and, and we'll be playing this game together for a while. And uh, I highly recommend doing what I've did, done, and uh, wait until night time. Turn off all the lights, turn the sound up, and enjoy this adventure with me into the crazy mind of H.P. Lovecraft. It's going to be a fun one. I've seen nothing of this game other than the uh, trailers that most other people have seen but it looks like it's going to be good fun so thank you to the developers for giving me a key for this game so I can play it for you this evening and over the next few weeks I should think but for now let's uh, continue on I will not be speaking through the cutscenes or anything like that so we're all here for the story we can all speculate together and uh, without further ado let's start Pierce Investigations Agency in Boston Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his mo memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his tropper. Pierce must find his new find a new case quickly, or risk losing his license. Chapter One: Enter Madness. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who, in his callousness, can remain sane to the hideous end. By H.P. Lovecraft. Well, this seems like a lovely place. Um, lots of dead things. Lots of water. Lots of guts and intestines. All stuff you really want to see when you wake up. Doesn't look like I can take the lantern. Uh, let's just have a look around. See what we got. Oh, good. A, a skeleton of a... Fish? Wait, is that made out of metal? It looks like it's made out of metal. But I might be going crazy. We got chunks of fish all over the place. This is delicious. I would not recommend eating while watching this game, apparently. That haze is kind of cool. Crouch, so I guess I'm going through there. I guess this is locked. This is indeed locked. Can't see anything through there really. I am using a gamepad for this for now. Uh, I might change to keyboard and mouse a little bit later, but I am not sure yet. What's that? You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Then I am guessing this light is for me. It is. Ooh, that's a nice looking light. It's eerie. What now? Uh, okay. Let's let's move away from that. Hmm. Yeah, big old pile of nope right there. Uh, will it do it again if I go down here? No, it looks like we've got another dead whale or something over there. Is all? What is this stuff? What's it, dude? I can totally hear something like walking through the water or something. Okay, let's leave. It's, uh... Okay, bolt cutters. I wonder what we'll need to do with those. Break our way through. In my wake, hold the lock. Think inescapably draws you on. Oh, good. Riddles. Oh, okay. So, if I press that, I can, like, really brighten stuff up. Yeah, let's not do that too often. That's super bright. 
So, Mr. Disembodied Voice, where are you? Now, from what I can tell, this isn't necessarily a horror game. It's more an investigative. It's more investigative than uh, horror. But, it being Lovecraft. It's a bloody killer whale. Okay. A bunch of killer whales. But yeah, it being Lovecraft, I'm expecting a few jump scares and stuff like that. But, all in all, I think it's more about the uh, descent into madness. Yeah, I don't want to run, mate. Another cage up there. Bunch of candles, as is to be expected. Anything through there that we can see? Haven't seen any, like, human bodies yet. It's all been fish. Behold. Everything has already been written. You will attempt to change your destiny. So we know the big bad, Mr. Cthulhu looking guy, shockingly. What we got? Old war buddies? Holding your position and obeying orders. That is courage. I used to be an avid reader. Okay. Certificate of membership, Wentworth Agency, United States Detective Agency of Boston. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. What have we got in our files here? Seemingly nothing we can do anything with at the moment. How about in here? Married mm. woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife uh, had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Fair enough. Some people just don't get the message. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Okay. Well, it seems. Uh, I should get rid of all this stuff. No, you should tell me what it is. Boston hit by most severe blizzard in years. Snow paralyzing traffic. Closed, closed, prohibition. Origin liquor prescription. Boston Strangler escapes from state mental ward. Interesting. Okay. Let's turn off the radio. Thank you. I'd like to be alone with my thoughts. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my life. Okay, Pierce Investigations Agency. The doctor can well uh, repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. Uh, one of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams. But they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? So, this looks like... Uh, my goodness. So this is the case that we're currently on, which is the case of... Us, I guess. Um, okay, so we've got... Whole different bunch of skills we can do stuff with. 
eloquence, strength, medicine, occultism, psychology, investigation, spot hidden. That could be useful. Mental trauma. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War, where he took part in the... I'm not even going to try that. Argonne Offensive. Uh, he is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion, American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire. Forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies, the soldiers were considered as lost as their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatised by these events. He, is consume he consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Yeah, that's uh, no real surprise there. Cool. Uh, dark water. You don't have any information yet. Places. My private detective agency contracted by the Wentworth Detection Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston, where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small, yeah, one small time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The odd, the, the old office couch is less comfortable than the real bed, and I should probably get rid of these empty bottles. But this place is mine for the moment. Don't have any information about the occult. No clues. Inventory. We just have a lighter. My old lighter that I engraved in memory of the 77th Infantry Division. And the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. So I can inspect things closer. Cool. Seems like I can only rotate it left and right. But that's fine. Uh, let's have some... Uh, let's have a drink first. This will affect your destiny. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> Alright. Cool beans. Hello? Operator. I'm listening. That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Seems suspicious, but okay. Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the, the score of a skill. Cool. I have eight character points available. What do I want to go into? Well, I... Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Improving the skill increases your, char your chances of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in game. Eloquence. Eloquence represents your ability to influence those who talk to you by the power of speech. Improving this skill increases your chance of convincing and or mani manipulating during discussions. Interesting. Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving this skill increases your chances of forcing doors or mechanisms or using violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Okay. Medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the dosage of a drug, of making a diagnosis, or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Occultism represents the knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts, and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. Psychology represents your knowledge of the human behaviour. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behaviour or on the analysis of objects. I think I want medicine up to level 2. That seems like it could be pretty useful. I think having some knowledge of occultism probably going to be pretty useful. Um, yeah, we're going to put... I'm going to try and go like a well-rounded character for now, I think. I definitely want more spot hidden. Because I think 
that's going to be pretty darn useful. Okay, I think we're good here. Character creation. Do you really want to validate this character point attribution? Yes. No. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Well, we know the dude with the tentacles. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Yeah. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. So, your notebook details your current objective. Open it. Not that button. Good to know. It's that button. Um, examine the painting and examine the Hawkins file. A strange, a strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He is convinced that she is the sender. He brought me the painting so I could examine it. Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to uh, reopen the Sarah Hawkins case named after his daughter who died in a fire alongside her entire family. I must examine the documents compiled. Well, let's have a look at the documents the first. On Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Okay, so a shipping label. Some of it is unreadable. But I can make out the part of the address, Warehouse 36 in Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a, rec a, a reclusive life there with their only son, Simon. No one ever suspects the son, but it's nearly always them. 
Well, Mr. Tentacles over here definitely looks familiar. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? You're asking the wrong guy. Find out about Warehouse 36. Where did Sarah Hawkins live? I read about her mental frailty in the police report. Something's not right with this story. Tell me about Warehouse 36. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Okay. Uh, where did she live? Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Okay, we're gonna try and do all the options if we can. Apart from, uh, I'm not doing you're asking the wrong guy because that seems like it's a very ending one. Yeah, we're gonna go with something not right about this story. Her husband was a big deal on the island, but the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. That's all the information I need. I don't want to. I don't want to be a dick about it and tell this guy that. You know. Although I will ask about her mental frailty. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay. Let's do this. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let some things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Well, wow. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. There's no need to be a dick about it, dude. Dark I said I'd help you. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. I'm guessing it's this one. The Learning of Medicine, Volume 1, a dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. The first volume lists all illnesses known to the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. Okay, that increased my medical progression. Very nice. Considering I want to, I used to, do to be that. an avid reader. Okay, that's apparently not what I'm looking for. Uh, so we've got a few more bits and pieces we can open now. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. So Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. 
But it seems to have been shunned since then. Interesting. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evident yeah. Ev there, there, there. Evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of a long ab of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? Interesting. No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. So that explains all of the whales and stuff we were seeing along the uh, first start. Let's go. Let's uh, let's get there. Let's see what they have. Chapter 2, Darkwater Port. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label, an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be, uh, seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. What do we reckon? Mysteriously burnt down as well? That's what I'm going with. Time to shut up. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Ventor. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, 
I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay, well, looks like we are off the reins and uh, can go where we please. I kind of want to go back and see if I can talk to these uh, these sailors and fishermen. Doesn't look like we can. That's a shame. I was hoping we could get some more information from them, but it's okay. This place doesn't seem very nice, does it? Definitely not my top pick for holiday resort. I have a feeling we're probably not going to be too welcomed. But you never know. We might be. That is a very dead whale. Interesting. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? You see how old this thing is? If you force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. As for Warehouse 76, these sailors get upset over nothing? You're totally out of your depth. Where's Warehouse 76, buddy? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Dark 36. Harbor. That's the one. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Don't put Dude. that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Could, Damn stupid idiots. Could you Forget guys it. explain? Nobody listens to us anyway. I think you guys no should be explain. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I can medicine this. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. Okay, so we're not quite special enough to uh, know what's going on. They can't understand. However, I would like to know what's going on here. You can't understand. Okay, so we only got to ask him one question, huh? Something's coming, huh? Something Don't real bad. Back in the water, you You're Interesting. Let's see what's going on up here. See what these fishermen have to tell us. You guys. What's up? Nothing for you here either. Your chum wanted to stir us up. All right, mate. <laughs> so you can stay to watch. So we've got a street fight going on. What we got? Provision. Gen. January 16th, 1919. Momentous day in world's history. And then rest Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the whole leaving the wine bottles out underneath the Prohibition sign is a bit of a piss take. Now, if I do miss anything sort of American history-wise, please tell me in the comments, because... Uh, I don't know a lot about American history, but I know a lot of my viewers are American, so if you know more, then please let me know. Let's see what the bar has. Apparently they have a special surprise for me. Probably a brawl. Yeah, that's the welcome I was expecting. Brutal. Hey, be careful. Hello, love interest. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. It wasn't me who went looking for it. Hold to test eloquence. The guy didn't show respect. Test of strength. You're ever doing it. I'm sorry. Let's try eloquence. It wasn't me who went looking for it. 
Yet you served this man, and you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. You mistake my manner. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. <laughs> we'll see. Interesting. Um, is there no prohibition around here? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? So that's the uh, lady in the corner, I'm guessing. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where this place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Hmm, interesting. What can you tell me about Dark Water? Why the Stranded Whale? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Interesting. How about Sarah Hawkins? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Is it true that they were strange? It's not speaking ill if it's true. Uh... It's not speaking ill if it's true. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Is it true that they were strange? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Enough about I've got Sarah. what I need. Anything else? Um... Let's... Let's order a drink. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? Only a small glass. I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I think we'll get along well. Okay. This will affect your destiny. Okay, I need to stop drinking. <laughs> Apparently, I really need to stop drinking. Although, it doesn't say it's negatively affecting my destiny. It's just affecting my destiny. So, maybe it's helping. Uh, let's hope. That'll be all for now. Let's uh, really hope that drinking is helping. So, what have we got over here? Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker and a debtor. Interesting. Wow. Is that $58 in debt? Shit. 
Uh, Miss Booker always free for the lady. Okay, Captain Fitzroy is also in some debt. Winchester's in some debt, and so is Andrews, but nothing compared to Hawkins. Like, my God. Yeah, all right, guys. Calm down with the prohibition stuff. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. 21st of May, 1847. Miraculous catch. The Scylla, which was the boat we saw on the way in, returns to port to save dark water from famine. We had given up hope. The crew of the Scylla, or what remains of it, returned to dark water port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales, the citizen that is being called the miraculous catch covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship. That's a hell of a whale. The surviving sailors told of a frightening account of their perilous catch but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that it, the immense size of the whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine, famine which, uh, from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Mar Marks is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favourite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Special evening at the Stranded Whale. To celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all the staff of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Interesting. Very interesting. So we're getting a bunch of stuff in our uh, in our thing here. So we've got a whole bunch of different places. Oh, we've actually got information about inhabitants. Cool. We've got one CP to spend. So I'm going to spend that on our... Hmm... Ooh, medicine and occult skills can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. I think we need to get our eloquence up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that'll be fine. We've got nothing else here, which is all good. Um... I don't know why it's still saying there's stuff here I can do. Oh, ignore that. That's me pressing the wrong buttons. Reset, add, remove. Ah, add. And then. Ah, then I have to validate which is this button. No, this button. No, this button? Yes. Cool, we got there in the end. Do have some more stuff in clues. No, that's the bit we already saw, and that's the chapters bit. Cool. Hi guys. Do you like our song? It's beautiful. <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What is the song? I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? Where the proof? Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. 
It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I have a feeling that's not quite accurate. I'm guessing it has something to do with uh, where we woke up. But we'll continue on. I bid you farewell, Jim. Good Enjoy night, your song, stranger. Widows. So long. I'm trying to understand what they're saying in the song, but it's too muffled and uh, terrible. Uh, let's have a look in the... Nope. Let's not have a look in the back room. Well, I think it's time to speak to our lady patron. Hello. What are you looking at, stranger? She can certainly put him away. Bit of a strange thing to say to someone at the start. What is a woman like you doing in a place like this? Also a pretty strange attitude to take. Nothing at all. I'm just passing by. Sorry. Let me drink, stranger. Interesting. I told you to beat it. Okay. All right, then. Well, we've, uh... We're out of luck on that one. He looks insane. We'll definitely oh speak to him. Oh, there's an asylum on this island? Of course there's an asylum on this island. Yeah, this dude's super creepy. Let's talk to him. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. That sounds bad. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Okay, then. He's uh, full on nuts, huh? Okay, let's go and speak to uh, Fitzroy. Go see what he has to say for himself. He apparently has a bunch of files for us, but I'm going to have a look around first, because eh, it's what I do. Let's go in this door. Hi! Thought I'd come in the side door. What you got? Ooh. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. The terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier, Cat. Interesting. So Fitzroy's in a bit of trouble. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. These people aren't all actually going to be dead or something, are they? All of these are actually just a figment of everyone's imagination. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Maritime bank. Sperm whale. S can only see sperm whale, can't really read the rest. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. A scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Yeah, you see, that bit confuses me. If it's so well renowned and revered, would they really let it just rot? Surely they would try and keep it slightly uh, slightly better the second volume teaches ethics and good practice to medical staff 
Now, I like to have a look around my... Uh, I, I like to have a look around people's houses before I speak to them. See what clues we can get about their character. See if we can find anything uh, this man dodgy. And Fitzroy could be twins. In this photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. Probably is his brother. Would be my guess. What a macabre souvenir. So I'm guessing maybe this is the captain of uh, Captain of the Scylla. And that's his sort of like memento of all of that. Let's go and speak to him and see what he's got to say for himself. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. Thank you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Righto. See what we got. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. And that's all I'll get from them. My God, there's hundreds of them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890 and 1907 and a partial date. The rest of the documents is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? It's a very good question. So we've got the manifests. Uh, we have to go see Mr. Crazy out on the out on the deck. Hey, mate. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbour. You do. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your documents are unreadable. Unlocked. Oh, unlocked answer. Talk about dark water. Let's, uh, let's do this unlocked answer. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Clearly. I thought that fish, uh, fishing stopped in nine, uh, 1847. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Hmm. What can you tell me about Warehouse 36? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. Okay. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Belongs to the Hawkins family. You underestimate me. Is this a game for you? Uh, let's do investigation slash professional. I want to try and keep this playthrough professional if I can. Sort of straight and narrow and then maybe we can do another playthrough afterwards or something and we're a bit more of a dick it belonged to the hawkins family precisely ship owners from father to son i think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse let's talk about dark water this photograph looks strangely like you i saw the killer whale on the wharf what is this miraculous catch who is Cat? Ooh. We got a lot of uh, information, which is nice. Let's go with the um, the picture, because I think we know the answer to this. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your okay. father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. Called it. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Yeah, called it. You saw the killer whale on the wharf. What's going on with that? I'm just back from the wharves. 
The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Why are they putting it back into the sea? The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. What could have killed Killer them? whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. Hmm, okay. Who's Cat? I found a threatening letter signed by a certain Cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Interesting. So, uh, we've got a bit of a mob boss situation going on. Tell me about the Miraculous Catch. The Miraculous Catch? Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Done that. Thought you could be a little more helpful, considering it was your daddy who brought it back. Okay. I shall be on my way. Let's so come go. back and see me when you've got something new. Okay, so he's sort of like our... Um, Oh dear, I'm stuck. Where do I go next? We can go back and talk to him. Now, he said something about we can look at the leg. What a macabre souvenir. Oh, okay. I thought we could literally look at the leg as in, like, investigate it. But never mind. That's fine. Is the whale back in the ocean yet? No. Cool. Oh, hello. Gentlemen. Afternoon. So, we've got ourselves a... Uh, Pass, uh, yeah, it's a little bit further on. You can't understand. You're not sick. You didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. Because its owner is dead. So? And I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now, please, leave us to our work. Don't put that beast okay, back so, in the water, uh, you shysters. You're crazy. So the police here are just straight up dicks, huh? What could have done so much damage? It's a very good question. You can't understand. I was hoping I could. could have done so okay. much damage. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. Okay. Let's see if we can speak to any of these fishermen. Obviously, we've got the warehouse to go to. But I want to check out the uh, the docks first. See what we can find. Can't get up there. Doesn't look like we've got anything around here. Looks like the docks are in a nice state of repair. Okay. Oh, we've got some uh, like glow-in-the-dark writing almost going on. Some like graffiti or something. Can we... St. Brendan, the Navigator, C-484 to 577. St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. Looks like Phoenician. Or a very primitive runic script. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, so we've got our first occult... Uh, occult finding... Right, I think before we end today's episode, we are going to have a look at everything we found out. So, Stephen Webster, a wealthy businessman, well respected in the Boston area. Stephen Webster came to me in order to investigate the death of his... Oops. 
Uh, his daughter, Sarah Hawkins, the man accepts neither refusal, refu yeah. the man accepts neither refusals nor inconvenient truths. He is ready to do anything to prove his daughter was not mad. Charles Hawkins. Charles Hawkins was a local celebrity on Darkwater, the heir of the ship owner family. He used to travel a lot. He met Sarah Hawkins during a trip in Paris. They fell in love, got married, and Hawkins took her to a remote island of Darkwater. They had a child named Simon and lived a very secretive life. Sarah Hawkins, painter. Sarah Hawkins, a painter known for her tortured artistic universe. She was worshipped for the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearance. I seem to remember that she once said, I paint what my dreams whisper to me. Her marriage to Charles Hawkins years ago surprised high society columnists. A wealthy Boston heiress known for her party going chooses to follow her new husband and live as a recluse on the island of Darkwater. She disappeared from the front pages of the newspaper and nobody heard any more about her. Even her death in a fire remained a secret. Only her father, Stephen Webster, continues to seek the truth. Simon Hawkins, age 11, schoolboy. Only son of Sarah and Charles, he died in the fire that claimed his whole family. Roy Mitchell, owner of the Stranded Whale. Roy Mitchell runs the only bar on Darkwater. Prohibition has no hold on the Stranded Whale, and sailors come to seek some comfort in Mitchell's whiskey. The man therefore knows more than anyone. The secrets and rumours that the inhabitants of the islands exchange after a few glasses. Mitchell is devoted to the golden age of whale hunting. If the numerous trophies that decorate his establishment are anything to go by. The man will talk freely on the subject on which he is so keen. But he will be far less enthusiastic if one was to inquire about his source of liquor. And of course we have James Fitzroy, age 45. James Fitzroy is the captain of the Char Charboy Bidis. Charbidis. Got no chance on that one. The only boat that still sails between Darkwater and Boston. His base is the harbour master's office, from where he misses nothing that happens on the island. The inhabitants of Darkwater respect him. The bootleggers despise him. He offered to help me in my investigation. Yes, but why? Is what I want to know. So we do have our first bit of a cult. Does the patron state of Wales and Whalers still protect the sailors of Darkwater? Visibly, there were other gods before St. Brendan, and their worshippers do not seem to be of this opinion. The locals still worship the old saint, but as a mark was made on the statue by another cult. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, private detective. And what else do we have? We've got some clues, which we've read and looked at already. Cool. And we do have another point to put in, so I'm going to put that into eloquence, because I really think we're going to need this eloquence. People here are not going to be so talkative, I don't think. Small town tend to keep to themselves, so uh, we're going to have to do what we can to get information out of these guys. You going to say anything? No, of course you're not. What do you two have to say for yourselves? You live here? Why did you do that, huh? Huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. What? Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Uh, say what now? I'd never have done such a thing. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Well, let's find out about the island. About St. Brendan. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? 
You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Interesting. Is this where you live? Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Okay. So you don't have any work? Isn't that a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Peculiar house. Oops. Yeah. It's not... Didn't mean to press that. Turn. Uh, who are these guys that are keeping guard? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Ah. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? Interesting. They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Who's cat? Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I've taken we'll enough. See you guys time. later. We'll see you later. You will do, you accusing little gits. See if there's anything interesting around here. Doesn't look like we've got any other uh, occult markings. Uh, what was Crouch again? I can't remember. Oh, I can bring out a lighter. Oh, cool. Naughty, and don't go look in there. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Hmm. So you can uh, find out some interesting stuff if you're sneaky sneaky. Right, well, before we go and uh, speak to Cat, or get spoken to by Cat, I should think, we are going to call it there. So thank you all for watching the first episode. It's been good fun. I hope you have all enjoyed. And uh, look out for the next one, hopefully tomorrow. For now, I've been Dark Python, and I'll see you next time. Bye.